Myth number three, men are off the hook. You probably noticed that I'm not into political correctness. This might be where I should suggest to you men not to dress like the Abercrombie guy. And for the love of all things decent, please pull up your pants over your boxers. But that's not what I feel led to tell you today. <laughs> these, these texts, the feminine modesty texts, I will call them, are about sexual allurement. And they are directed to women, that women should be in self-control, and that women should express respect in the way that they present themselves. But does that mean that you are off the hook? And what I'm really asking is this, Am I saying, if women dress modestly, men will not lust? Let me be very clear. Your lust is your problem, period. Here is your modesty verse, gentlemen. Matthew 5, 28. But I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lustful intent has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Guys, you are responsible for the way that you look at women, no matter how she may choose to dress. And I understand that you live in a culture that feeds you filth. I understand that you live in this, with this constant IV drip of pornography and sensuality. Listen, your grandfathers did not struggle with pornography because they didn't have to drive by the Hooters billboard. They didn't have to walk in the mall through the Victoria's Secret poster. They didn't have to endure commercials during football that were mild pornography. But you do. And so it just means that you cannot be complacent. A woman who is unaware of these teachings on modesty, God's word on modesty, perhaps even a woman who is spiritually lost, should be able to walk across this campus, she should be able to walk across this campus dressed anyway. And because you are feeding yourselves the scriptures and feeding yourselves God's truth, that what rises up in you would not be the question, what can I get from her, but what can I give to protect her? What are you feeding yourselves? What are you feeding yourselves? The truth, men, is that you live in a culture where you must let God train your heart to be attracted to modesty and to be protective of a woman who doesn't understand that. 